the program Ask the Ministers of God. We are, we are taking a short break, but we are right back. And uh, you can still catch us live on our Facebook page, that is MBCA TV, and also on our short code platform, that is 23814. You can give us a comment or two in this particular conversation, and we'll be glad to sample some of your opinions on the same. On site is Apostle Dan Gishimu, our resident minister on this particular show, and also I'm being joined by Pastor John Dodo. We are looking at the topic what are some of the roles that a Christian should play in the community? And of course, we are taking a short break, but uh, Pastor yes. John Dudo, Karibu yes. Tena. Thank you. Now, uh, looking at this particular subject and yes. also in relation to quite a number of Christians and the arguments that maybe some of them would have that it's uh, disadvantageous or maybe they find it a challenge maybe to interact or maybe even to socialize uh, with the community which maybe they want to say quote in quotes mm -hmm. that maybe they are in darkness and therefore they don't want to defile themselves mm -hmm. and want to keep themselves away from them. Mm -hmm. How do you uh, look at such an argument? Now, in the first place we are sent to the world. Before he left this world he gave the what we call the Great Commission, go to the world and make disciples of all nations. Mm -hmm. Our first responsibility as Christians is to the world. Wherever they are, we've been sent to every creature. Mm -hmm. The um, Mark's account of those words says, preach to every creature. Mm -hmm. And therefore it is disobedience every time I think um, by interacting with the lost, I'll be defiled, I've been sent to them. The, uh, of people of all races, all tribes, uh, black and white, all and short, all gender, we've been sent to them. Our first responsibility is to them. And that's how we win them to Christ. And he, Christ gave us what we call the ministry of reconciliation. Mm -hmm. Because the world is lost, we are the people who are in the gap between Christ and mm -hmm. them. So any other responsibility is secondary. The first responsibility of a saint mm. is to win them to Christ, to let them know him, uh, to let them be impacted by him because they do not know him. So we are in his place. He came to the world to seek the lost and he delegated that responsibility to us. Mm. And if it is disobedience every time you think you should not, as a Christian, you should not <laughs> interact with them. It is right. disobedience. Mm. Uh, it is failing your principal responsibility as a Christian. Mm. Even other ministries follow that one. The principle mm. is winning souls mm. to Christ, mm. attracting them to Christ. Let them know him because they do not know him. Mm. When that has happened, the others follow. Uh, Severization, education, provisions and all that. But they are so, so fast. You see Jesus saying, what will it profit a man if he gets, gets the whole world and lose his soul. Mm. So the soul of a man, in fact, he said, if you look at that scripture, it, it, we see it um, has a lot of value than the, the total wealth of the, the world. Mm. And that's why he came to seek the lost. So that so fast one to Christ, mm. another follows progressively. Mm. Uh, and therefore, uh, it should be our principal mandate to win them mm. to Christ, and then the rest follows. Mm -hmm. Yes. Wow. Uh, Apostle mm. Nkishimu, mm. uh, looking also, uh, and Pastor John Tudo has actually brought it out uh, very well, and at what particular point, therefore, does a Christian maybe want to question maybe the kind of capacity that maybe they need to have, or the kind of capacity they need maybe to require for them to be able to play roles in the community? Uh, I would say, whatever we do, Christ is with us. We are not alone. Mm -hmm. Christ is with us. Is with us. Mm -hmm. And he's the one who also gives us the wisdom how we have to, to go about. Because remember, this gospel you cannot preach alone. Sure. You have to have the presence of the Lord with you. Mm. So as you are with the Lord and you are also a prayerful person, God will help you. God will give you ideas that at this particular moment, I can do this for this community. Mm -hmm. At this juncture, I'm ch supposed maybe to shift things and probably do things differently. Mm -hmm. So there is the wisdom that God gives. Mm -hmm. Christians, we are supposed to be wise. 
because we have a God who is all wise, who is all knowing. And when we also pray to him, he will guide us through how we have to go about as we even help other people. Mm. Because there are some places that probably you yourself as a person, you may want to help. Mm. But then the Holy Spirit who speaks sure. will prompt you, no, not here. Mm -hmm. And then God will direct you to another place. And then you'll go to that particular place. So it's not that we are doing in isolation <laughs> without his help. Mm -hmm. His help mm -hmm. is very much with us mm -hmm. and therefore we cannot go wrong. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. There are some people who may come to you, for example, they may have this problem, blah, 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 blah. Mm -hmm. And then when you pray about it, you get an answer right there and then that this person probably is a con man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He want to con you of some money. And uh, then as a Christian, you realize and no, this is not the right person okay. to give. Mm -hmm. So where we help, God also directs mm -hmm. us. Mm -hmm. And he gives us real clarity mm -hmm. to the extent mm -hmm. and to the magnitude mm -hmm. that we should just project in mm -hmm. and give the required assistance. Mm -hmm. So God is real. Wow. And what he works it? with the real Christians. <laughs> sure. <laughs> yeah, that's quite um, uh, very uh, interesting there. And Pastor John, though, as Apostle mm. said, yes, yes. Uh, the, the place of discernment mm -hmm. and also the reliance yes, on yes. the Holy Spirit yes, yes. for a Christian to be able to know. Yes, yes. And also, maybe what you'd also want to say, maybe to someone that they have the desire, but maybe there is that spirit or there is that challenge. I mean, they want to. They, they, they are actually maybe desperate or they are looking down upon themselves mm. in relation or regarding to what they can actually do to the community. Mm. Yes, yes. Um, we, you see, Jesus first empowered them before he <coughs> sent them. We, we, having trained them, he had stayed with them for three and a half years, and uh, having trained them, that was for equipping them. Mm. They were mentees <coughs> and a mentor. Uh, he was training them. They were observing what he was doing, how he attracted the mm. crowds to himself. You remember when calling those of them who are fishermen, he told them, follow me and I'll make you fishers of men. By staying with them, he was training them how they would win souls. They would fish uh, people to, uh, to himself. And then he, uh, later on, he told them, tarry in Jerusalem mm -hmm. until when you're endured with power from above. Mm -hmm. That's the capacity. You wait, and then they wait. They had to wait for a number of weeks, and on the day of Pentecost, the power of the Holy Spirit came upon them. So when they began, like on the day of Pentecost, they had been uh, empowered. Okay. Because this is a spiritual activity, mm. it needs mm. spiritual mm. empowerment. Mm. It is a, a spiritual responsibility, it takes a spiritual endowment. You can't do it in the energy of right. the flesh. Mm. You need to be, to be empowered. And, uh, and that's why God has provided the capacity to achieve it, mm. including wisdom, the power of the Holy Spirit. And you know, the even resources, when they left, he told them, don't carry a pass or change mm. of raiment. Mm. Let alone, he asked them, when I sent you without a pass, without change of clothes, lacked you anything? They said, nay, they had not lacked anything because on the way, he provided them. So there, there is the provision for the responsibility mm. that God uh, gives uh, part-time. Wow, yes, yes. absolutely awesome there. Apostle Dan Gishimu, uh, quite a number of Christians, uh, and maybe this is one of the deceptions from mm. the enemy, that you play a role in the community, and maybe you don't feel maybe how fulfilling it is, or maybe you don't see the reward. But certainly this is not an exercise in futility when a Christian plays a role in the community? You know, the Bible says, whatever you do, do as though you are doing it unto the Lord. Mm -hmm. Remember, this community belongs to God. Mm -hmm. And as a Christian, you have a responsibility. Mm -hmm. Not looking for the reward, okay. but looking for what you know you can do to those particular people. And it is very, very important that as a Christian, you remember anything you do, 
you know, I, I love my friend uh, who really teaches, and he teaches very well. Uh, his name is John Nganga. And uh, whenever John Nganga uh, is teaching about, uh, especially on issues concerning professionalism, in fact, he has even written books on professionalism, right. he emphasizes that even if you are an accountant, that is a call. Mm. Just like a pastor mm. has had a call, mm. you know, from God. Why? Because an accountant is also important. We mm. need somebody who can do balances for us, mm. uh, for the things that we do, you know, uh, concerning funds and what have you. Mm -hmm. So, whatever you do, do as though you are doing unto the Lord. Sure. And should you expect any reward, expect the reward from God. From God sure. Because mm -hmm. God is a rewarder. Mm -hmm. You get the point. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Very true. I believe my viewers uh, yes. mm -hmm. get the point. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Pastor John Thiever, exactly just as Apostle said, yes, yes. that it is not a matter of a Christian playing a particular role in the community. Mm -hmm. Maybe to be seen mm -hmm. by the community, mm -hmm. maybe to be seen mm -hmm. by a mere human being, mm -hmm. but to really concentrate on the supreme being that is mm -hmm. God. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is service to God. Mm -hmm. It is he's the one. We, we see in Colossians 3.23, whatever you do, do it heartily as unto the Lord, not unto men. He's the one who rewards. The good thing, as Apostle says, God rewards. Our labor in the Lord is not mm -hmm. in vain. First Corinthians 15, verse 58. God rewards, his, his, his reward system is the best of all the other world's uh, enumeration, uh, so, uh, whatever bosses that, that we have. Because he, he gives what the world boss cannot give. He gives some things that cannot be bought with money like health, mm. uh, protection, and, and provision. So basically, it, it's, you need to remember who sent you. Okay. It is God who sent you. Mm -hmm. He's the one who rewards. And he also promises to go with you. The disciples went and preached everywhere. And we were told the Lord was working with them. Confirming the word that they were preaching with signs and wonders. So when we are making impact to the society, we should know that we are not alone. Mm -hmm. And we are serving God who rewards us. Uh, it is serving God through these people. Mm -hmm. Serving God through serving them. Mm -hmm. It is what Jesus would be doing if he was here yes. or not. That's why the church is called the body of Christ. Christ we yeah. are the phys his physical representation here on earth. God is spirit, John 4, 24. Mm. So we are his physical manifestation mm. on earth. Wow. Mm. What a good place to put it to a close for tonight. Thank you so much, our able panel tonight on mm. this particular show. Yeah. Pastor Dan Gishimo, resident minister, we really appreciate your insights on the roles that a Christian should play in the community. And also, Pastor John Dodo, always a pleasure to have you in this particular set. Thank you. God bless you so much. Mm -hmm. We bring it to an end at that particular point. We also want to appreciate your views and also your uh, contribution on our discussion. We'll do it again next week at a time like this. Enjoy the rest of your programming. My name is Mangicho Mola. Have a blessed evening. Nugget of Wisdom with Apostle Dan Gishimo. Life on earth has an expiry date. It is prudent to aspire to do your uttermost best and avoid being caught up and prepared to meet God. The earth's expiry date is certainly unavoidable and cannot be reversed or otherwise changed. So, align yourself with the purposes of God.